Welcome to the Dr. Ronald E. McNair Award Ceremony. This has been a fantastic year for our Eagle students with a lot of great accomplishments. This has also been a challenging end to our year. Although we could not be together at the end of our school year, as expected, our Eagle students have soared through this time with grace. You've worked hard at continuing your schoolwork and communicating with your teachers while at home. We are proud of the way all of our Eagle families have gotten through this unprecedented time together. As we begin to recognize our outstanding Eagle students, we wanted to give a special thanks to our amazing Eagle Pride PTO. They have been instrumental in helping our staff and students this year, and we appreciate everything they have done to show us their support. Now, please join our counselors, Miss C and Mrs. Edwards, as they lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Hey Eagles, it's Miss Whitfield. I'm here to start off the Special Achievement Awards. These awards spotlight students who shine in special programs, generate school spirit, and master academics at a local, state, or national level. Hey, it's Mr. Perry. Uh, for Outstanding Art uh, Girl, uh, I've chosen Hannah Tran. Uh, just because uh, of her talent in art, she's a very talented artist. Uh, she's always asking questions, always making sure uh, she has everything turned in on time. And uh, that's why I selected Hannah Tran for uh, outstanding sixth grade female art student. Uh, congratulations and uh, good job with everything you did this semester. Very here uh, for uh, outstanding art student uh, male, uh, I've chosen uh, Chase Sampson. Uh, he always has everything turned in on time. He's always asking questions, always trying to be better. And uh, that's very encouraging as a teacher uh, to have a sixth grade student that does that. And that's why I selected him for an uh, outstanding art student for sixth grade. But uh, uh, congratulations, Chase, and uh, good work this semester. Hey, y'all, it's Julie Jessick, the director of bands at McNair Junior High, and I'm speaking um, on behalf of myself and also Mr. Almeida. We want to offer congratulations um, to our sixth grade band award recipients for 2019 and 2020. Sierra Rosetta and Eaton Rosales are the recipients of this award this year, and we are so proud of them for their hard work and determination in learning to play an instrument and also for showing great character and leadership in regards to their classmates. Um, we know the kids look up to you guys and we are so looking forward to what the future holds. Congratulations again and take care. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Harlow. I have chosen two sixth grade choir students as outstanding choir students for the year. Um, these students have been chosen because they are uh, constantly motivated, they help others around them, they have wonderful work ethic, um, and they are overall just very hard workers who are consistently working to better themselves. So the two students that I have chosen for sixth grade are Nia Shells and Nicholas Bowman. So congratulations, you guys. Um, thank you for all of your hard work uh, and dedication that you've put into choir. Hey everybody, it's Miss Borgstrom here presenting your award for sixth grade dancer of the year. This person comes in every day with a big old smile on their face, ready to learn, ready to give 110% to any genre I give them, any skill that I give them. Um, they're ready to learn and excited to learn and every assignment is very well thought out. I also enjoy loving watching this person dance because you can tell that they really enjoy what they're doing. Um, and I cannot wait to see how far dance takes them. 
and that person is Cassandra Pena. Congratulations. Hello, this is Mrs. Bell, and for the Fine Arts Award for Theater Arts 6th grade female, this goes out to the student who makes sure that he, she leads and in groups to make sure that each members of the group is able to present their role properly and with her leading the group is successful in their performance. And so for this award, this goes out to Abigail Johnson. Congratulations. And for the Fine Arts Award for Theater Arts, sixth grade male, this goes out to a student who is consistently participating in all the activities, whether it's theater games or scenes in the classroom and make sure, and he makes sure that his scenes are very precise and making sure that he is always in character in the scenes. He's also particip he also participates in our theater club meetings and other activities. And so for this award, this goes out to Ethan Hauser. Congratulations. Students are often awarded for their scholastic achievements, but they should also be praised when they demonstrate strong qualities of character and good citizenship. The principal's award is given to a girl and a boy in the sixth and seventh grade. Those receiving this award must exemplify six qualities which define character, 
courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service. Candidates for the award are voted on by faculty and staff. Each awardee receives a medal and a certificate. The Dr. Ronald E. McNair recipients for the sixth grade for 2019-2020 are Faith Johnston and Parker Jones. Congratulations. How are you? Good, you miss us? Good. Hey, um, so I'm here today to present an award to you that you have earned. Um, our teachers vote on a boy and a girl from each grade level to receive the principal's award. And you are the girl who has received the principal's award for the school year. So congratulations. So out of like 425 kids, you were the you were the one girl that was chosen in that grade level to to receive this award, and um, and it's the only award that we're taking around to to houses to give because it's the big one, right? So congratulations. Miss us? Yes. Good. We miss yes. you too. Hey, so we're doing our award ceremonies for the end of the year, and you have been voted on by all of the teachers to receive the principal award for the sixth grade. And so what that means is we vote for one boy and one girl out of the whole sixth grade, out of 425 kids, and you were the boy that they chose to win that award. So um, it's in here. If you want to open it up, you can put the medal on. Uh, and we're just, we're very proud of you and, and we miss you and we're, we're excited for you to come join us again for seventh grade next year. Yes. Uh, and there's a certificate in there as well. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Awesome, congratulations. Yay. Good job. Congratulations, Parker. Good job. Hey, what do you so say, guys? Much. Good. Thank you for joining us today for our award ceremony. As I reflect on this school year, I am grateful for the time we've had together, the lessons we've learned, and the experiences we've shared. The strength of our Eagle community and our staff's passion, and you, our Eagle students, all work together to make McNair the best junior high in the state. And 2020 will definitely be a year to remember. To our students, today we celebrated your accomplishments, we recognize and are very proud of all of your hard work, perseverance, and individual successes each of you have had this year. This was not an easy school year and didn't end the way we hoped, but with your grit and determination, you saw your way through it and finished strong. Thank you to all of our teachers, staff, and parents who have supported our students through this incredible year. And congratulations to our students. We wish you the best of luck as you move on to another academic year, whether it is with our Eagle family or another school family. We also wish you and your families a safe and happy summer. In closing, I'd like to share with you a poem written by an anonymous author. I dreamed I stood in a studio and watched two sculptors there. The clay they used was a young child's mind and they fashioned it with care. One was a teacher, the tools that were used were books, music, and art. The other, a parent, worked with a guiding hand and gentle, loving heart. Day after day, the teacher toiled with touch that was deft and sure, while the parent labored close nearby and polished and smoothed it o'er. And when their task was done, they were proud of what they wrought, for the things they molded into a child could never be sold nor bought. And each agree they would have failed if each had worked alone, for behind the parents stood the school, and behind the teacher stood the home. Thank you, and have a great day.